what's up you guys it's Danielle welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi I'm Danielle welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a, another full face glam makeup tutorial I'm gonna go for some sort of smoky eye today I think but yeah if you guys want to see that keep watching before I get started make sure you subscribe to my channel down below I post every Monday Wednesday and Friday and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything and yeah, let's get started. So I am gonna start with eyes today, and I'm just gonna be using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And I'm just using that as a base on both my eyelids before I start the eye look. And I'm just setting that with a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder. First, I'm gonna be taking the color Orange Soda out of my Self Glam Palette on my e.l.f. Blender Brush. And I'm just brushing that into the crease and a bit above the crease. Just in a windshield wiper motion. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Burnt Orange from the same palette. I love this palette so much. I feel like I already rave about it so much in like so many of my videos though. And I'm just brushing that into the crease as well, keeping it a little below the orange soda shade, but kind of like blending it up into it as well, if that makes any sense. These colors just look so pretty together. And I love the formula of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows so much. They just blend literally so nicely and they're so freaking pigmented. And I'm gonna hit this one too a little bit more on the outside corner. Just kind of cover that like outside corner of my eyelid. And I'm just going back in with the orange soda shade and just blending that at the top just to make sure everything stays in nice and blended and seamless. This look is actually inspired by a look I saw by Angelic Beauty XO. Her Instagram is amazing and she is like, oh my goodness, she is so freaking good at makeup. It like boggles my mind how good this girl is at makeup. I'll definitely link her Insta in the description, but she did this like really gorgeous olive green smoky eye with like rhinestones and stuff. And I'm not gonna try and recreate that look because I actually don't have the colors and I don't have rhinestones and yeah. But it definitely inspired the look I'm doing today. I'll see if you guys can like see it on my phone. I feel like this won't show up very well on camera though. That's the look there. It's so pretty. But yeah, that's inspiring my smoky eye look today. So we'll see what happens. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Cypress Umber on my e.l.f. blending eye brush. I don't even think I've used this shade. Pretty sure I have the same shade in Modern Rose, let's call it though. And I'm just brushing that along the crease, keeping it below the other two colors. And brushing it into the outside corner as well as the inside corner. And I'm just doing this really, really lightly. Like I'm literally putting like no pressure on my brush. And I'm gonna pick up a little more color. I barely picked up any of the first time just because this color is pretty dark so it's definitely better to add a little bit at a time than add a lot and mess up the whole look right off the bat and now I'm just going back in with the shade burnt orange on my elf blender brush and just blending the cypress umber up into my crease and just making sure everything is all blended and just going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion now I'm gonna go in with this olivey green, shimmery, brownish kind of color from my BH Cosmetics 88 Neutral Kit. This kit was literally $8 for 88 eyeshadows, and I honestly haven't used it in a couple months. Actually, that's a lie, I used it in my last video, but before that, I haven't used it in a couple months, and I've never tried this shade before. So I'm a little skeptical. It's swatched really, really nicely, but like they are 88 eyeshadows for like $8, so like, I don't know. But I do love BH Cosmetics and like everything I've tried from them has been pretty good. So we're gonna try it. Just gonna spray my brush first. And I'm kinda just gonna put that all over my lid, focusing it on the inner half. Oh, I love this color. Definitely turned out a lot more green than I liked. Maybe I am recreating this look. I wasn't expecting it to be this green. It kinda swatched more browny on my arm. Yes, I love this color. And this is so pigmented too. Like why is this only $8 for this palette? I hope we don't find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am in love, you guys. I am actually in love. Okay, there is quite a bit of fallout going on yet, but good thing we did the eyes first. We can just wipe it away. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Noir for my elf. <laughs> Not for my elf blender brush from my Soft Glam palette on my, on, I cannot talk, uh, I cannot talk on my e.l.f. blender brush. There we go. Just taking like one dab of that, I'm gonna smoke out the outside corner where the emeraldy color meets the rest of the eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna clean up the corners with a little bit of concealer. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Bronze on my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I love this shade so much, it's so pretty. And I'm actually not gonna wet my brush because I'm just gonna really lightly dust this over the center of my eyes. Let's give it a little more shimmer. And I think the gold and the emerald will really complement each other well. Because there, I feel like there's like already like kind of a gold shimmer to this emerald, so just kind of making that stand out more. So now I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange again on my e.l.f. crease brush. I'm just gonna dust this along my lower lash line. And now I'm going back in with the shade Cypress Umber on this little eye detail brush from my Danielle Creations Eye Essential Kit. And I'm just smudging that along my lower lash line as well, trying to keep it just a tiny bit above the burnt orange shade and just blending it into that. So it kind of have like the same color scheme on the top as on the bottom. And now I'm gonna go in with the gold glitter from my Hard Candy Glitterati Rock My World palette. I'm just gonna dab that in the inner corner of my eye. Yes, I love this eye look, oh my goodness. I am so happy I started using that palette again because there are literally so many colors in it. Like I didn't even think I had an emerald green and I'm absolutely in love with this shade. And there are so many other pretty colors in it as well. I honestly don't think BH Cosmetics sells that palette anymore. I think they do sell some of the 88 shade palettes still, but I don't think they sell that one because I looked for it when I went to link the products in my last video and I couldn't find it anywhere. But I honestly, like I'm waiting for something to be wrong with it because it's literally $8 for all these shades and like I am obsessed with this shade and it's so pigmented and it went on so well. So like, I don't know if it just like wears badly or like what's going on. They do break pretty easily though. Like I've had more than a couple shades out of that palette break on me, but like 88 shades, like I can lose a couple, it's fine for that price. Ah, I love this look, oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like a little a little crazy with my face not done, so I'm gonna get to that, but I'm gonna put on some lashes first. Really, first I'm gonna curl my lashes, and then I'm gonna put on some mascara, and then I'm gonna put on some lashes. It's process, you guys. I'm just using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Almost out of it, so sad. I feel like I can always get my lower lashes so like long and pretty, but I can never get my eyelashes to even like stand upwards, so like, I don't know. And I'm just putting on a pair of my Ardell Faux Mink lashes, looking down into a mirror with my Ardell Lash Grip Adhesive.
so we're gonna leave those for now, let the glue dry, finish my face, then add some mascara at the very end. So I'm gonna be priming my face with my Elf Hydrating Primer, just rubbing that all over my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade Natural Ivory. Oops, this is Classic Ivory, I'm not bad. And I'm just blending that out with my BH Cosmetics Flat Top Buffing Brush. Same as always. I'm just blending that out a little further with a damp makeup sponge. And now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Fair. And I'm just putting that like on all of the high points of my face to bring some light to them. And then I'm also just gonna put it under my contour line and along my cheeks there just to give a little more coverage to my red cheeks. And it'll also make my contour look sharper. And I'm just using the contour end of my Wet n Wild contour stick to contour my nose a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the rest of my contour with powder contour. I just like contouring my nose with cream contour if I do contour at all. Actually, what the heck? We'll do everything with cream contour today. I haven't used cream contour in so long. So I'm just putting this under my cheekbones, sculpt out my cheekbones. And I bring that down to about the corner of my eye, but I try not to go past the corner of my eye. And do the lip. Make my tiny lips look a little bit bigger if possible. <laughs> and then I'll just go around my forehead. I try to like even the corners of my forehead out a little bit because I find that I have a very square forehead. So I try to just like slim those two corners down a little bit if that makes sense. And then I'll just straighten out my jawline a little. Make it look a little more square. Alrighty, so I'm going to blend out the concealer with the damp makeup sponge first. And now I'm going to go in with my Crayon Pro Contour Brush and blend out my contour. And I honestly don't even think I'm going to set my face today because I really like, like the dewy look that I have on. And like, let's be honest, I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, I think I'm just going to like keep it like this. I really like how this contour turned out actually. I'm going to start using that stick a lot more often. I don't know why I've gotten away from it. I used to use that stuff like all the time and I haven't used it in forever. So I'm going back in with some mascara now and just coating my fake lashes with that. And now I'm just filling in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. Same routine as always. I do have a tutorial up on this routine already. And it's actually like so old, it won't even let me link it up on screen anymore. But it's on my channel. It's um under makeup how-tos, I believe. So now I'm gonna move on to lips. And I'm gonna be using one of my BH Cosmetic Liquid Lipsticks. This one's in the shade Genie. I think this one will go really nice with the eye look because it's kind of like a neutrally pink shade. I don't know, I really like it. I'd say this is probably my favorite color liquid lipstick I have from them. So I'm just putting that all over my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. I'll be using my Wet n Wild Mint Glow Highlighter in Blossom Glow as I have been for like, feel like the past like 10 videos or so. I love this stuff so much. As I mention every time, it is so cheap. It's only five freaking dollars and you can get it anywhere. So I'm just putting that on the top of my cheekbones. Chin, Cupid's bow, and my nose, and then on my forehead. And then I'm just putting a little bit under my brows as well, just to add a little pop of shimmer there. And lastly, I'm just gonna set my face by using my e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. Ooh. Okay, and this is the finished look. I am really loving how this look turned out and I'm really obsessed with those 88 neutral eyeshadow palette. I did not realize that these were that good or I would be using it like all the time. I'm like, I'll see how they wear and I'll let you guys know because like, I am like, like I still can't get over the fact that it was $8 for 88 colors and like they were that pigmented and went on that nice. Like I feel like I'm like missing a catch or something, but I don't know. I'm really loving how it turned out though. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you did like it, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you on Friday. Bye for now.